so then hi everyone um i thought today it would be really nice to kind of do a liverpool haul of what i bought whilst i was there last friday i didn't vlog just because it was so busy um and we were kind of just going from shop to shop anyway so i thought it would be really nice to just kind of film what i bought um i was either going to do the vlog or the haul like it was never going to be both anyway so i thought i'd do the haul instead of the vlog um i did get quite a lot of stuff so i'm going to kind of do it in like categories as well as i can do um but the first kind of two things that i bought were i bought two books so anybody that knows me um knows that i am kind of into watching like documentaries on this is going to sound really weird but like documentaries on like serial killers and finding out like the backstory and everything so i bought the dennis nielsen tapes the book now this is also i do believe that this is also like on netflix as well but i'm gonna read the book and then watch the netflix documentary and then we've got the Yorkshire Ripper, The Secret Murders, the true story of serial killer Peter Sutcliffe's reign of terror. So I think this talks about the um, the fact that it was kind of concluded that he had killed more than 13 women. Um, so I think this is what this book talks about. Once I've read it, I'll kind of do an update on what I kind of found out from the book and like the documentary that is on netflix as well so i thought that would be a good read then in complete contrast to that the next shop that i went to was the disney shop um and if you remember me saying i've just posted my pin video that should have gone live as i as we're filming this it's monday so it should have gone f live at like five o'clock I've just realised there's a spider on my ceiling. That's fun. Um, but yeah, as we're saying in that video, like I was gonna go to the Disney shop and buy some pins because they were all like discounted. Um, and I managed to pick up quite a few. Um, I bought two mystery boxes, which should have been ten, and they were down to five. And it's just the mystery keys. So this one which i'm gonna let ryan unbox it's got either mini tigger i think that's woody then it's got just the mickey pin there then it's got a star wars and then it's got donald so he's already got donald um but like i said if he gets donald again he can use that as a trader but i'm gonna order some mystery bags on facebook when i next get paid and then I can do like a mystery unboxing video and this one is mine and this has got up stitch fork it another star wars um aladdin and then just mickey and minnie but like i say again i'm not opening these today um because i'm gonna save them for an unboxing video then I got this little set which has just got Chip and Dale, it's got Goofy, it's got Mickey, Minnie and then Donald. Now I'm going to give the Donald to Ryan because obviously he collects them but then I've got four traders for when we can hopefully, fingers crossed with everything and Covid, hopefully we can be able to go next year. We're thinking of going for like October which is obviously my birthday. Then I got um, Peace, Love and Mickey. Oh, I forgot to say. Yeah, that should have been 27 and it was 13.50, which obviously is a good bargain. Then I got this pin, which is Peace, Love and Mickey. And that should have been £8 and it's reduced to four. Um, again, I'm going to use this as a trader. Then Ryan got um, the loki limited release pin so obviously this is with it being limited release i'm not letting him get rid of this because this can obviously double in price well it can go for more than double in price but that should have been 14 and it was reduced to six um but i'll pop that on his board for him because the board's live at my house 
then i got these really cute pins it's got ariel and pumba and it just looks like so and it says how i think i sing and and what everyone else hears um now i think i'm probably gonna let ryan have the pumba one because obviously he's got a little bit of um a lion king collection and then i'm gonna keep the ariel as once again a trader and then i haven't even unwrapped this before i started the video but i'll unwrap it now i got a christmas decoration like what the hell um it should have been 13 and it was reduced to nine pound ten and it was just a bell one now i don't have any bell like beauty and the beast decorations so that will go really nicely on my tree then next i popped into well these are all like clothes but i'll tell you where they came from so this top came from primark and i've just bought this for like after my operation because it's quite cozy and it's just got the walt walt disney sign and it says he's kind of it's kind of fun to do the impossible which let's be honest that is very true and then i'm just gonna pop that on my little clothes pile down here then to go with them i got some the true original mickey mouse shorts again just to lounge around in they were also from primark and then lastly from primark i bought this headband because as we all know i'm obsessed with headbands i haven't got one in today because i don't actually know where mine are so it's a good job i did buy a new one um it's a really nice yellow it's just got like a little bit of a top knot it's really pretty i love it then i got you know the everyday kind of these are from asda i just bought some socks because there seems to be a sock thief in my mum and dad's house and all of my socks seem to go missing and they've just got really cute little dogs on them obviously a little pug um, but I figured if I had them, then nobody can take them because I'll say, like, they're mine. And then for when I'm recovering from my operation, I got myself a sports bra because I won't be able to wear, like, a proper bra for a week. So I got that just so that I can still wear a bra and kind of be able to go outside and get some fresh air. And then I just bought your standard pack of knickers so that's all the clothing stuff then like candle wise and wax melts my mum bought me this candle it's the yankee candle exotic fruits it smells amazing it just sits in my room and makes the whole of my room smell lovely i do really like yankee candles then i got these from asda and it's in the scent well, it's called girlfriend night but it's bubbly berry bliss and these are like my favorite wax melts from um asda like this particular scent it's ace i'll just pop that quickly into my wax melt drawer and then i got tropical fiesta which is passion fruit and guava and they just look like so i do really like asda wax melts um even though they're cheap they do smell really really nice then hair stuff wise i got quite a lot i just like i said i could spend quite a bit of money so first off i obviously spoke about the frizz um control and garnier hair mask but i got the nourishing hair food in banana and shea and this is for dry hair so i've actually used this for my scalp i know that you're not really supposed to say don't put like hair mask on your scalp but like i sleep in it and then wash it out the next day so that's that one again just gonna pop that in my drawer because i may as well tidy up as i'm going then i got the frizzies well frizzy and unruly hair food coconut 
and macadamia shampoo i've got the conditioner as well but i'm using that at the minute with the shampoo of this version so then i got the dry hair uh, banana and coconut conditioner so that's what that looks like i do really like them products like the hair food like set in general it's just really good then i got the frizzy's dream curls shampoo i've not used it yet so that's probably why my hair looks like it does then i got the weightless wonder conditioner as well um just to see if they kind of do any help for the fact that my hair is so bloody frizzy all the time um i'm just gonna try and pop them into my little hair drawer that i have started all of a sudden then i got the frizzy serum for all hair types that tames flyaways and boosts shine for a polished finish it smells like ginger i haven't used this again yet um that just is gonna go back into my hair drawer if it'll fit like i say i don't i don't understand how i ended up with so many hair products like i was never like this before then i bought just your standard dry shampoo i've already lost the lid already lost it um it's just the pink one the floral the blush one basically and then i just bought a new brush because my mum walkabouts then I obviously had to make a trip to Lush and bought this raspberry bubble bar and obviously because it's on a stick you just stir it underneath your running water and these tend to last a lot longer than like the actual, the actual physical bubble bars. Just going to pop that into my shower drawer. Then they've changed, they've changed this little like baby bot. Like look. He's not a robot anymore. He's a little ball. He's still quite cute though. Um, and that is my probably my all-time favourite like lush bath bomb. It just leaves your skin feeling so soft afterwards. And then I just got your typical razors because again I've run out. And then I bought some Femfresh Daily Wash um just because again i've run out so again i'm gonna pop that into my shower drawer where i like prop up my phone to film is like on my two drawers so i've got like my makeup and hair side and then i've got my shower drawers that are like full four drawers full of shower stuff um then i bought an electric toothbrush just the RLB one and some mouthwash it's the Colgate gum invigorate because again mine ran out so I needed some more and then last but not least of the last three products so I bought the Revlon Ultra HG matte lip mousse in does it even say a shade don't even say a shade that's irritating Oh no it does, no it doesn't, sorry, it doesn't. Um, it just looks like this, I'll do a quick swatch of it. It's just like a really nice berry pink colour, I thought it would be perfect for the fact that we are coming in to autumn and winter because I love colours like this in the autumn and winter. Um, I do quite like reds as well but there wasn't a red there that I actually liked or that would have gone with my skin tone because as we all know I'm incredibly pale. I don't have any makeup on today I just thought it would be nice to just kind of do a video without makeup on. I then bought my old favourite foundation it's the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Foundation and obviously mine's in the shade I hope this is the right shade if not it's gonna have to go to my grandma um it's in golden ivory i'm a bit worried now because i feel like this isn't going to be the right shade mm. let's give it a quick open and see but i've got a feeling 
but this is not going to be my shade at all and in that case it's going to have to go to my grandma it was in the right section that's annoyed me is that now let's just oh no oh no it could work actually let's just get my foundation brush out and have a see Mm, yeah, it will work. Maybe we just with concealer and stuff that will work. Can't believe I managed to do that. It's typical me, and it let's be honest. So that's that. And then I got the L'Oreal Glow um, Highlighting Drops. Mine's in the lightest shade that they do. Just looks like so. It's just a little droplet, so I'm presuming, yep. Yeah. And just squeeze it on and it just looks like that. And then obviously you just dab it in. Oh yeah, that leaves a proper, proper nice shine. I don't know if you, oh yeah just makes your face look really wet i'm just gonna before i forget to wipe all of that off my hand because otherwise i'll end up with it sat there for the whole day and i'll have an orange hand <laughs> um but yeah so it was a really nice day in liverpool we kind of just went shopping obviously i spent way too much money but yeah, I just thought it would have been nice to kind of film everything that I bought. So I hope you have enjoyed watching. Uh, be sure to like, subscribe, comment, do all of that jazz. And I shall see you guys in my next video. Bye for now.